guys, it's Tim here from Mark 2 How To. Um, now as you can see behind me, the weather here is absolutely beautiful. So I'm guessing there's gonna be a lot of people out this weekend cleaning their Mark II Golfs. Now one question that always comes up every time the sun's out is, what can I do about my bumpers and my trims? Because they're absolutely faded and they're gray and they don't look like they used to. Um, and there will always be someone who will drop a comment saying, why don't you use linseed oil? It works great, I've been using it for ages. Well, does it work great? Is it the best thing to do? Or is there something else out there that might be just as good or better for around the same price? So I'm gonna have a look. I'm gonna go off now and get myself some linseed oil. I've had a quick check online, um, see where the closest place to me to get some is. So I'm gonna jump in the car. We're gonna go off and get some and then pop back home and uh, we'll, see, uh, we'll see what it looks like. So uh, let's see how we get on with this. So I'm here at the range because I've had a quick look online and it looks like this is the cheapest place to buy linseed oil. So let's go inside and see if we can grab some. Right, so I'm back home and I have the linseed oil. So I picked it up from the range as you saw. Now, um, I went there, it was the cheapest, it was £4.99. Uh, there was some available at Wix's for about £6, maybe £7 I think, but um, I thought, look, if we're gonna, if we're gonna try and go cheap on this, let's go the cheapest we can. So I picked up the uh, picked up the linseed oil. Uh, while I was at the range, next door was Halfords. So I went and picked up something that you will probably be quite familiar with. If you've ever been to a car show, a meet, a show and shine, you'll probably see people with a bottle of this stuff. Meguiar's Endurance Tire Gel. So uh, it works really well. It's £9.99. I did get it on sale for £9.11 because it's a bank holiday weekend. Thank you, Halfords. Um, and a little bit really does go a long way. So I'm going to do a comparison between the two. So Now, on one side, we're going to have Meguiar's Tire Gel. On the other side, we're going to use the linseed oil. So this should give us a good comparison to see uh, what the difference is. And in the middle, I've left a line which... Uh, means that we can actually see what an untreated bumper looks like. Now I'm gonna leave this on the car for about a week to give us a good idea of, of what it's like. Now I'm not gonna drive around with the tape on, but the tape's just there to stop the, uh, the Meguiar's or the linseed oil going on the other side. So again, this should answer the question, does linseed oil bring the back black to your trims? So to start with, on the driver's side of the car, so the left-hand side, because this is a, uh, a left-hand drive Jetta, we're going to use the linseed oil. Now already it smells a bit funky. So going on, I mean it looks okay. So let's see how we get on with the rest of the car. So that's the linseed oil on one side of the car. So just a quick look at the back bumpers. You can see actually really blackened the bumpers quite nicely compared to the untreated side of the car. So now for comparison we're going to pop the Meguiar's on and see what the difference is. Right, so that's both sides done. So let's take off the uh, masking tape in the middle. Right, so there we go. We can clearly see, it's not very central, I admit. Uh, we can clearly see on one side, we've got the uh, linseed oil here. This is where I've left the strip in the middle as a control. And this is the Meguiar's here. So if you look there, I've done the same on the back. So we've got linseed oil, control untreated bit, and the side with the Meguiar's on it. So I've got these two trims here. So I've got a big bumper trim and a small bumper trim. On the big bumper trim, we're gonna use the linseed oil, and on the small bumper trim, we're gonna use the Meguiar's. I'm gonna leave these in my back garden for a week as a control. So I've treated both sides of these rear arches as a control. 
that side has got the linseed oil on it so you can see it's come up really nicely looks good and on this side we've got the Meguiar's again it looks really good so we'll see how it looks uh, after a week sat in the sun so can you restore the black on your bumpers using linseed oil well today it looks like yes yes you can but let's give it a day or two and uh, I'm going to run this out for the rest of the week and we'll see how this looks. I'm going to run the car as a daily so it's going to get real world usage and yeah we'll, um, we'll see what happens. So that's been about a week and what a week it's been. So we've had hot sunny days, we've had rain overnight, we've had occasional showers midway through the afternoons and we've had downpours in the morning so I think the weather's really put the linseed oil through its paces to give it a good idea of what it's like in everyday conditions. So the hot weather has been fantastic for me, um, I've enjoyed it certainly, but let's have a look and see how we've got on with the linseed oil on the on the trims. So first of all we'll take a quick look at the uh, we'll take a quick look at the trims in the garden and see how they've come out. So here it is the trim with the linseed oil on it. So having a quick look at it um, you'll notice that it's got lots of bits stuck to it. So I guess where they've been on the floor, um, rested up against the wall, um, the dust and dirt's blown into them over the week and it's stuck to the surface of the linseed oil. Um, but what you can see is there's lots of watermarks where it's been rained on and you'll see that the linseed oil has kind of washed away a bit. I wasn't expecting to see that, I was hoping it was going to act as a barrier and you can see especially down on this part of the trim here that there's uh, lots of bits missing so it's washed away here on the corner and over here so that's not done particularly well which I'm surprised at. And now the trim with the Meguiar's tyre gel on it so let's have a quick look at this, this looks a lot better um, so from, uh, from a couple of feet away certainly you can see it's, uh, it's a lot better but as we get up close yeah, generally, it's pretty good. Now, it hasn't suffered from water spots, which is really good. Um, it's kept the black colour. And it's still got a really nice sheen to it. So, um, on these trims alone, there's a couple of little water spots, but nothing as dramatic as the, um, as the linseed oil. And bearing in mind, these trims were really grey and faded when I, uh, when I put it on. I'm really impressed with the results. So that's the trims checked out and the linseed oil didn't do as well as the Meguiar's. Um, so a couple of rate water spots, a couple of patches where it uh, had washed off altogether and uh, the trim was looking a bit faded. So um, we'll go back and have a look at the car now and see if uh, it's any different. So we're going to start on the side with the linseed oil and see how it got on. Let's take a closer look. So starting at the front of the car, you can see that it still looks quite black in comparison to the centre of the bumper that we left untreated. But you can see that there's some grey marks starting to come back. This looks like where it's rained overnight and the raindrops have pulled on the bumper. They've dried out and it's taken the finish off and you're left with these grey water spots which isn't particularly good. Now if you look at the side of the bumper as well it's a bit hard to see in this light but you can kind of see around here where again it started to wash off and along the top of the bumper as well you can see that where the water's washed over the top it's it's washed the linseed oil off the top of the bumper so that's not looking great. Now as we come onto the side trims you can see here that there's watermarks all down it where the rain has washed down the side of the car and it looks like it's taken the linseed oil off of the hard plastic trims. So that's all the way down, so that's not the greatest. Now as we come onto the back of the car, again it doesn't look like it's performed particularly well. So you can see here whether or not it didn't go on particularly evenly or the water has just washed away as it's been driving in the rain but you can see that you're left with this patchy finish this may be where I thought earlier that there was some product underneath that hadn't quite washed off the bumper correctly I'm not overly sure but what I do know is that it's not left a particularly great finish and as we come round to the back you can see here that that's the center of the bumper there 
And then where the, the water and the moisture pulls at the back bumper on this car, you can see that it's generally taken the shine off of the linseed oil. It's very patchy, it's very gray and blotchy and doesn't look particularly great. So how did the linseed oil stand up against the Meguiar's? So let's take a look at the side that's got the Meguiar's on it and see if it did any better in these conditions. Right, so starting at the back, you can see it's a very smooth finish, even though this is the area that collects the water, still looks great. Still got a really nice deep sheen to it. And it's still a lot blacker than the standard untreated section. And again, the rest of this back bumper looks fantastic. So as we move on to the side trims, again, great result. Still looking good, no watermarks whatsoever just looking nice and black and as we move on to the front bumper same story here looks great nice deep dark sheen and as we get across to the center untreated section you can clearly see it's a lot darker so that shows how to restore your bumpers and trims using linseed oil but should you? That was the question. In my opinion, no. Um, I think the linseed oil was half the price, but I think the Meguiar's was a far superior product. At the end of the day, I'd quite happily drive around with my car, looking like the side with the Meguiar's on for at least the next week or two. The linseed oil side, if you were only using that, you'd definitely want to retreat those bumpers and trims. Um, and again, I think, a couple of good heavy rains and you'd be you'd be retreating it again so i think at the end of the day yes on, when you put it on it looks great but i think as soon as you start driving it around using it on a day-to-day -day basis and it's out in the elements all of a sudden the linseed oil just doesn't stack up so i think for me my money would definitely go on the Meguiar's. and that's it for another video so if you like the content Please remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Until then, goodbye.